guys welcome back to my channel I'm very very excited because we'll be testing out and trying on some new products from TK Maxx which is their makeup range and most of the products I'll be trying on today they're actually um, featured from my from my TK Maxx Christmas haul gift ideas so if you guys haven't watched that video I will put the link down the description box below if you guys wanted to find out what my thoughts are if I can recommend these products to you guys so that way you'll be able to save some money please keep on watching this is the uh, Ellen Tracy that we'll be trying on today Her brand metal liquid lipsticks uh, beauty essentials bronzer from Nicole Miller so I've actually tried and wore these lashes already on Christmas Day so I've already done my brows I've actually used the, uh, the Maybelline products today and set my brows using the Rimmel brow this way in clear my foundation today so um, I've used the LA Girl products my concealer I use the MAC Pro Longwear my under eyes and my t-zone area using the Hourglass Veil translucent setting powder the rest of my face I've actually used the Australis fresh and flawless so I've already set my eyes she's in the Urban Decay primer so I'm gonna start with the eyes first I'm gonna try this um, eyeshadow first so it come in eight shades of eyeshadows in two matte eyeshadows I come in a, a sponge it's like a little sponge applicator let's watch the eyeshadow so I'm gonna start from this side here okay oh that looks very pigmented guys so that's only a one swipe If I so it's just got a lot of it's just a lot of products so it's a bit powdery so they're actually a lighter shades it actually blends really well on my eyes but I just have to keep um, adding product in to, I'm gonna go into the next matte shades just see if I can so I'm just applying this on my crease using a like a flat brush just need to give a bit of definition in my my eyes so I'm probably gonna go with this um, this shade here using my finger on one one side of my eye and then I'll be I'll be using a flat brush on the other eye just to see okay it's got a better application if you're using your finger then using a brush wet the brush using the um, MAC Fix Plus because I want this eyeshadow to be more intense if you're going to be using a brush um, guys um, you need to spray it with um, MAC Fix Plus or you can just wet your brush a little bit 
because look at that color actually showing off I'm just going back that we didn't have any we didn't have any matte darker shade so I'm gonna go and use this shade here to apply it on my other corner just blending this together pencil brush from Morphe this combination eyeshadows I actually quite like it so with the inner corner I'll probably going to be using this um, this sponge this eyeshadow applicator that comes with the eyeshadow palette this one here I'm going to be putting that on my inner corner which is the first shade that um, we tried earlier eyeshadow applicator really absorbs the um, the product in which is really good okay, that's really okay, it's really pigmented so what do you think guys it's really pigmented that first eyeshadow so with my brow bone I'll be using the Morphe E36 and I'll be using the uh, the second shade just like a, a light goldy color and just find that way. so it is pigmented as well use the liquid eyeliner that comes with the uh, sets it's a wet formula guys and it's a really black see okay the tip of the um the tip of the liquid eyeliner i actually like it because it's really fine and it's not that soft so when i'm applying it on my on my eyes actually been applying it really nice and smooth which is what I like because I've got a hooded eyes I'm going to do the lower lashes now this matte eyeshadow darker shade eyeshadow that I put on my inner corner I'm just gonna put that in there just to open my eyes a little bit come in a set so this one here is their um, so this one here is their plump plump and curl mascara the volumizing mascara so then they've got the uh, the lash curler oh this lash curl is really nice guys because I think because it's it's a wider see it's it's really wider here so it really really curls my lashes and actually it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt when I curl my lashes first the uh, the plum and curl mascara this is how the wand looks like guys so it's a very small wand so it plump so it says you should plump and curl my lashes I think mascara and this is how the wand looks like it's a little bit bigger than the uh, first one but it's still a pretty small pretty small wand for my eyes which is I really like so it's supposed to give volume on my lashes one here it's supposed to lengthen plump and lengthens my lashes but I can see that it separate my lashes and only lengthens a tiny bit but it's not really a big difference guys so we're gonna go into the Mac Studio. 
so I'm gonna go and see if I can try the mascara on top of the other ones Lenting mascara so this is Lenting mascara okay so that's the one there my lashes see it's gonna make any difference guys um, they work out exactly the same as the other mascaras which is from Ellen Tracy one so these lashes I've used them already on Christmas Day Nicole Miller bronzer gorgeous glow by applying bronzer to where the sun hits face high on the cheeks across the forehead and down the nose application can be repeated to achieve desired naturally radiant look and so that's how it looks like guys so I'm just gonna swatch that so it's definitely got a sheen to it okay so Oh, that's a lot of fallout, guys. There's a lot of fallout, see? So I'm just, I'm just tapping the excess. More like a natural radiant result, which is what it stated on the uh, descriptions I haven't got a blush so I'll be using the uh, Milani Luminoso and just see if it's gonna blend together okay it's blending in together perfectly with that bronzer um, they come in the Mac Studio with that, but that's the sh that's the shade there, guys. So I'm just gonna swipe that. Oh, it's really nice and pigmented. This is that's the highlighter there. Yeah. I apply that using my BH Cosmetics uh, number 18. So there's, there's a lot of fallout there too guys, I don't know if you guys can see it But make sure that you tap the excess And it's really soft when you're, when you're applying it on your skin And it's definitely pigmented guys when you're going to apply it on your skin The, um, the MAC Studio in red Okay, it's, uh, it's got like a pinkish red color to it but when you when you looked at it in person like that it looks red okay it's not a matte so it's not a matte finish guys it's more like a satin finish and And it's very smooth and moisturizing on the lips. Still doing the liquid lipstick. So that's the shade there. So that's the shade over there. It actually got a um, matte finish after that. So when I first applied it, it was a little bit like a satin finish and it dries out as a matte finish. The uh, designer brand the metallic lip kit
I was just there's actually a little bit of scent to it, it smells like chocolate. Just gonna go with the peach platinum. Combine that with this um, MAC Studio liquid lipstick because I can't really wear this by itself. Thoughts and recommendations with all these products that I've actually purchased from TK Maxx. So we'll start with the Ellen Tracy brand. So with the eyeshadows um, itself, um, it's actually not bad. They're actually easy to blend. I mean, they're not that pigmented. Looking for a, an everyday eyeshadow makeup look. So these are actually a really good eyeshadow palette. Is their liquid liner. I've actually loved their liquid liner. I mean, it has, an, it has actually smudge on my eyes and it's actually easy to apply, especially with the tip on this. It's actually very fine, but not soft. So with my hooded eyes, direct, I find it very easily to apply it on my eyes. It comes with that. I actually love the eyelash curl, curler as well. I've actually find it that it doesn't hurt my eyes when I curl my lashes and the lipsticks I love the lipsticks I reckon this is a it's actually um, a good combination between these two because this has got a satin finish and then when you put this over to it it's actually giving you a, a matte finish but not really like too matte highlighter oh my gosh I love their highlighter it's very pigmented I mean it's it's powdery but um, it's powdery when you when you first tap it when you first tap the brush on it but it's actually very pigmented when you go and apply it on your skin. I actually like the highlighter. I'm really not a fan of a, a radiant finish on the bronzer. I've actually preferred more like a matte finish, but with this one you can actually, I reckon this one, you can actually use it as a highlighter. Which is really, really nice. And they're actually powdery as well. And wore this over the Christmas day. Over Christmas day. They're actually comfortable on the eyes. Um, they're not heavy. And I just wish that the lash band, they're a little bit softer when you put it on. Kind of brand, a metallic liquid lipsticks okay if you guys are a fan of wearing metallic lipsticks i would actually um, recommend it for you guys to get this so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope i did help you out excited to try more products from tk maxx this video will be up on the, um, new year's eve so i'm wishing everyone a happy new year and good luck for 2020 looking forward in providing more values for you guys so so that then i'll be able to help you guys please comment down below if you guys tried any of these products from tk maxx i would love to hear from you guys please let me know what video you want to watch next thank you so much for everyone who subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and please don't forget to click the notification bell and please don't forget to like and share my video i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys